Balancing redox reactions in acidic solutions. Balance the following oxidation reduction reaction. We are going to use the half reaction method. This is a systematic method that will assure you get the right answer every time, if you follow it correctly. We start by separating the equation into its two half reactions. The chromium is oxidized from positive 3 to positive 6, while the chlorine is reduced from an oxidation state of positive 3 to positive 1. Generally, we can simply pair the reactants with the product containing the same elements, excluding hydrogen and oxygen. So here, the reactant containing the chromium will go with the product that also has chromium in it to form one of the half reactions. The other reactant and product will form the second reaction. Let's start by balancing the reaction on the left. We start by balancing the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. Here, there are two chromiums in the products and only one in the reactants. So we multiply the chromium ion on the left by two. We balance the oxygens next by adding water molecules. There are seven oxygen atoms on the right and none on the left. So we add seven water molecules to the left side. Now there are seven oxygens on each side. Next, we balance the hydrogens by adding protons. There are now 14 hydrogens on the left and none on the right, so we have to add 14 H plus ions to the right side. Now there are 14 hydrogens on each side. At this point in a basic solution, we would actually have an additional step to do. See the video on balancing redox reactions in basic solutions for a complete explanation. We have to balance the charges by adding electrons to one side of the equation. Here, the chromium ion gives the left side of the equation a charge of positive 6, and the sum of the charges on the other side is positive 12. So by adding 6 electrons to the right side, both sides end up with a charge of positive 6. At this point, if no error was made, you should not have to go back and adjust any coefficients. Your half reaction should have the electrons and H plus ions on the opposite side as your water molecules. We repeat the same steps for the other half reaction. First, we balance the elements other than H and O. The chlorines are already balanced. Next, we balance the oxygens by adding H2O molecules. We balance the hydrogens by adding H plus ions. Finally, we balance the charges using electrons. Now both half reactions are balanced. To be able to put the half reactions back together, they need to have the same number of electrons. To do this, we multiply one or both of the reactions by the lowest whole number possible. Here, we have six electrons in the first reaction and only two in the second, but by multiplying the second reaction by three, the numbers of electrons become equal. The electrons can now cancel out. Now we can put the reactions together. We simplify the molecules that are present on both sides of the reaction. The order in which this is done is not important. The electrons cancel. We have seven water molecules on the left and three on the right, so by subtracting three from each side, we finish with only four in the reactants. We have six H plus ions on the left and 14 on the right, so we subtract six from each side to finish with eight on the right. This is our final reaction. It should not be possible to simplify any further. Check and make sure that you have the same number of each element in the reactants as in the products, and also make sure the charge is equal on both sides.